Hello and welcome to Diablo 3 status update episode number 15. Today is March 17th, 2012 and today we're going to talk about the upcoming beta patch number 15. And first and foremost, I would like to thank Sunny D for putting out a for pointing out that I had some incorrect information in my last video. Please check the comments of my last video or my last video's thread on Reddit for more information regarding that. But moving right along to patch number 15. Patch 15's official beta notes, or beta patch 15's official notes. The gold auction house for hardcore players is now available for testing. All characters have been wiped, which doesn't really affect you unless you uh, have beta access, and even if you do have beta access, you probably don't care too much. The cost of the first and second shared stash tabs have been increased from 50k to 100k and 150k to 200k. The levels at which character skills and skill runes unlock have been adjusted for most classes. Treasure Goblins drops uh, have been increased, or rather, the quality of their drops has improved. Uh, the Monk Dashing Strike uh, now converts to basic attack if you are out of spirit. And the Witch Doctor, mana for all skills have been adjusted. By adjusted, I don't know if overall it's been lowered and been improved, or if it's uh, been increased and the Witch Doctor has become weaker as a result of it. The Corpse Spider's ability, weapon damage, decreased from 24 to 16%. Uh, Fire Bat's weapon damage increased from 100 to 150. Haunt weapon damage increased from 360 to 575. And Poison Dart's damage over time dot effect has been reduced from 50% to 40% weapon damage. Soul Harvest now displays how many targets are affected on the ability stack count. Okay, so uh, real quick, I want to go over this. The Monk thing's not that big of a deal. That's just that's more of a bug fix than an adjustment. The uh, Witch Doctor bit is really important because w classes that people aren't as interested in are going to get buffed more, so people are encouraged to play them, and that way Blizzard has people spending more time to play the game. Also, then people have multiple characters, and if people have multiple characters, then people have interest in multiple item types. People will buy multiple item types. It overall will just improve the game and improve the economy of the game and improve the gr the rate at which the game stay the rate at which it grows so uh, moving on there's some adjustments to the Templar herp de derp no one really cares too much the uh, monster affix thorns has been renamed to reflex damage and uh, John Dar's poison damage has been increased uh, Players should no longer receive error message, blah, 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 more bug fixes. So basically the big thing here is that overall the Witch Doctor has been buffed. Even though it's been really adjusted, the Firebat weapon damage increase and the Haunt weapon damage increase, or uh, damage over, weapon damage increase has uh, pretty big repercussions. It's, it's, a big, it's a big buff to the Witch Doctor overall. And uh, the Gold Auction House for Hardcore Characters... That's interesting. Uh, I wonder if they'll have the real money auction house for hardcore characters out before the beta's over. Because now they've said that they will do it if there is demand for it. If there are a lot of hardcore players and it, Blizzard thinks they can turn a profit, it might show up. It's it's kind of unethical, but it will show up. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you like my videos, if you find them entertaining and or informative, please subscribe, like the videos, etc, etc. You can find me on Twitter at MacX10, at M-A-C-K-X-T-E-N. Thank you for watching so much, and thank you to Ink Gamers for giving me the official patch notes, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and real quick, I wanted to add that the game footage in the background is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, if you didn't already know, because right now the beta servers are offline for maintenance regarding some kind of bug with Patch 15. Thanks again for watching!